So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. It's not quite four lines. We get into the fourth line. I, I bring that up because typically translate word problems are four or more lines long. Right? So we're not quite there. But there's a lot of information here. We can see there's a lot of numbers here. So I'm going to treat this like a translate word problem question, which just means I don't want to read through the whole thing all in one go. I want to write down all the quantitative information, make sure I understand what I'm reading prior to moving on to you know, subsequent sentences. So the question says the average of five distinct scores has the same value as the median of the five scores. All right, well, I don't know what those five scores are, so I'm going to say A plus B plus C plus D plus E divided by five. I'm going to call that X, okay? So hopefully you recognize that all I've done here is translate the first part of the first sentence, right? So here are my five distinct scores. And if I'm going to average those, and I would divide by five, and this X represents the average. It then tells me that the average is equal to the median of the five scores, right? So the median, if I have the scores arranged in ascending order, that means that C, the value of C, would be the median. And based upon what this first sentence is telling me, X is equal to C. Okay. Then it goes on to say the sum of the five scores is 420. Okay, well, that means that all of this represents 420. Well, that's very useful because now I have a fraction that instead of having A, B, C, D, and E, as my numerator, I have 420 as the numerator, which I can simplify, right? So 420 divided by 5, I can actually find an answer for that. So I go to my calculator and divide that, and I get that 420 divided by 5 is 84, which means that x equals 84, right? That average equals 84. And it also means that the median value is 84, which tells me that the value of c equals 84, which also tells me that A is less than 84 and B is less than, it could be equal, I guess, less than or equal to 84. And D is greater than or equal to 84. And E is greater than or equal to 84. Hopefully that makes sense, right? I, get, I extracted all of that information from just plugging this 420 in that the question gave me. So let's see what else it says. So what is the sum of the four scores that are not the median? Interesting. So uh, the sum of the four scores that are not the median, well, the median is 84, right? I am looking for the sum of the four scores that are not the median, which means I'm looking for A plus B plus D plus E. Well, I already know that A plus B plus C plus D plus E is equal to 420. I also know that C is equal to 84. So all I'm doing by moving from this level down to this level is I am subtracting C, right? I'm subtracting C. So the same thing I do here, I'm subtracting C from 420. But I know that C is 84, right? So really what I'm doing is 420 minus 84. So again, I go back to my calculator and I just find that answer. 420 minus 84 is 336. Therefore, the final answer to this question is choice H.